chaos of mind, a swarm with demental entities and fluttering shapes a vague half-bodied thought and crude beginnings of incontinent force. This state now threatened. Thus she pushed from her. of life, ungoverned by mind or soul, subconscious of us. Self-wide heart. She came into a brilliant ordered space. There, life dwelt, parked in an armed trunk 
tranquility. A chain was on her strong insurgent heart. There one stood forth who bore authority on an important brow and held the rod. His sentences savored the oracle. Traveler or pilgrim of the inner world, O oh, a spirit to the perfect way of life, here find it. Rest from search and live at peace. Savitri replied, casting into his world sights deep release, the heart's questioning inner voice. Happy are they who in this chaos of things this coming and going of the feet of time can find the single truth, the eternal law. Happiest who stand on faith as on a rock, but I must pass Leaving the ended search, truth's rounded outcome, firm, immutable, and this harmonic building of a world effect, this ordered knowledge of apparent things. Here I can stay not, for I see my soul. in that bright, contented world. But some murmured passers-by from kindred swear, each by his credo judged the thoughts he spoke. Who then is this who knows not that the soul is a least grand or a secretion's fault. But others, nay, it is her spirit she sees. But none has touched its limits or seen its face. Another with mystic and unsatisfied eyes who loved his slain belief and mourned its death is there one left who sees her beyond can still the past be found open the gate.
so she fared on across her silent cell. To her road she came strong with an ardent crowd. Guests from the cavern of the secret soul and savitry mingling in that glorious crowd longed once to hasten like them to save God's world. Outstretching her hands to stay the throng, she cried, O oh, happy company of luminous gods, reveal who know the road that I must stray to find the birthplace of the occult to far and the deep mansion of my secret soul. One answered, pointing to a silence limb on a remote extremity of sleep. In some far background of the inner world, O oh, Savitri, from thy hidden soul we come. Follow the world winding highway to its source. There, in the silence, few have ever reached. Thou shalt see the fire burning on the bare stone and the deep cavern of thy secret soul. Then Savitri, following the great winding road, came where it dwindled into a narrow pass, trod only by a wounded pilgrim. A few bright forms emerge from unknown death and looked at her with calm immortal eyes. There was no sound to break the brooding hush. One felt the silent nearness of the soul. I'm 